Welcome at Puckle Pop or Puckle Poop, like your mother <laughs> says. Yo, don't says. talk about my mom, yo. <laughs> Um, it's really nice to have you here. I've seen you a lot in the past. It's always like the most fun, enjoyable shows I, I, I've ever been to. That's from the deepest of my heart that I say that because uh, I remember the show of uh, Pukal Pop 2018. Do you have any memories on that show? It's just always fun here. Like the crowd's amazing. It's a great space for a festival. Um, you know, when we get the chance to come back, it's always with like pleasure that we do it. So. Yeah, it's going to be a good show. We're on at midnight, so everyone should be in a good mood. Um, your l uh, latest album, Loving in Stereo, is one year old. You dropped two new singles in May, uh, Problems and Good Times. Um, does that mean that uh, a fourth album is soon to be released? Uh, I couldn't say uh, at this point. It's, it's very early days and, um, you know, we're just waiting for the record to be right. Um, but yeah, no comment at the moment, but obviously at some point new music does come out. <laughs> so yeah. And no. <laughs> okay, <Couldn't> cool. Say. <laughs> um, you're doing really cool uh, support acts this year. You've been uh, ask, asked by um, Billie Eilish to go on tour with her. This yeah. October you'll be uh, the support act of Gorillaz. Are those musicians you, you look up to? Well, they asked us, you know, if, if Billie asks you personally, you know, Sam, our manager, calls us up and goes, Billy really wants you to do it. It's like, oh, okay. You know, are you going to do it? <laughs> and the same with Damon. He's a, he's a legend and, and, and we're massive fans of Gorillaz. So if they're like, you know, they really want you to do it, then you kind of go, yeah, let's do it. Um, it's obviously not all our fans. So there is that element of like, everyone's like, is that right? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, like, cool. I just, want, I just want to hear Billie Eilish, please. Yeah, Who so, are these? Who so it's kind of fun it's, and it's kind of not. But there are some similarities uh, between you guys and Gorillaz, like the, the whole, the cool digital um, world you create around the band or? Yeah, I mean, I, I've always loved Gorillaz and uh, I think we've always been massively inspired by what they do. Um, I suppose we kind of do it in the real world, you know, they're a cartoon band and ours is a little bit more, uh, you know, real world. Not in a bad way, obviously, they've, they've, they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they're amazing, yeah. <laughs> Next year, it will be 10 years of jungle. D do you Didn't know. think uh, about that? It's, or? It's, felt, it's felt like, um, you know, two or three years mostly. How long do you think it's felt like? Probably like half a century, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eons, you know, eons. <laughs> eons. Light years. For, for Lord of Dreams. <laughs> uh, how did you uh, personally, personally um, evolve as musicians um, in these... 10 years. It's very hard to say. Well, we just um, picked up Pokemon again on Nintendo yeah, Switch, so, so the idea yeah. of evolving is very, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I think you just, your taste evolves and, and, you know, your experiences evolve. We were talking about this the other day. Um, I think you get better at what you do, do you know what I mean? Like, we make better sound in music because we know how to make stuff sound better. Or, and that's or worse. <laughs> but that's enjoyable because like, you end up being able to like, realize the things in your head that you've always wanted to like, actually make 100%. happen. It, it almost gets like, more achieved and more kind of... But when you start out, there's a naivety to your music where it's kind of just putting it together and you don't know, you know, technical ability or, you know, recording ability or, you know, vibe, I suppose. Vibe ability. Vibe ability, which is <laughs> a real word. <laughs> Um, I admire you guys as mu musicians, but I truly admire the, the choreographers of your shows, well, your clips. Uh, yeah. C can you dance yourself? Uh, do you try to learn the choreography? You, I, I or? I'll show you a very, very cool video, but they won't be able to see it, so I'd have to send it to you. Um, <laughs> T-Mat was on the sub last night and he was shaking his, shaking his bum like this and all the dancers, you know, they were around us and it was a, an amazing time. But, you know, they bring the music to life in a way that, you know, we can't and... Um, you know, we've always watched those videos and wanted to be part of the audience, you know, watching them and feeling inspired by them. And they do an incredible job of that. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards. <laughs> I've learned, uh, learned a move from uh, Keep Moving. I think it's like, it. it's like this. Both? Something like that. I think that was spot I've, on. I've, turned, <laughs> I've learned really hard because it's, it's a difficult choreography. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the show at uh, the Marquee tonight at midnight. Do you have any final words to um, prepare the audience for the show? Let's have a fucking great time. Uh, uh, equal fist and Van Avent. I want to party tonight. I've got a few other. You've bits. learned that for Lowlands, I guess, well, and that well, my, you're going to use it my again. My fiance is Belgian, so oh, yeah, yeah, okay. she doesn't. Uh, she She's wants basically Belgian now. Yeah, I've got a few, uh, few uh, Flemish uh, tricks up my sleeve. 
cool. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jungle. Well thank you, you <laughs> for the little we chat. We speak a whole language of English here, but you know, you said one word. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Be cool face then. Later yeah. this night. <laughs> thank you so much, thank Jungle. So much. Bye bye. Really, music matters.